right, hi everybody, welcome back, Tony Steve Vondren, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, hope everybody's having a great time. I finally had some time free up and I wanted to talk about something timely, uh, something that's going on right now, something a lot of people are talking about over the dinner table, hopefully social distancing, perhaps with a mask on, um, however those rules are going in your state. But I wanted to talk about this COVID relief bill, COVID-19 relief bill, also known as you can see it here, the Consolidated Appropriations Act 2021. So uh, this is a bill that was uh, signed, or basically approved by the Senate and the House, sent to Trump. The president has to sign it to make it a law. Uh, and right now he's sent it back. A lot of people are talking about the $600 for people in the United States not being enough. So uh, anyway, that's in limbo right now. But I want to show you two things that are in the bill that perhaps you have not heard that um, you can be the smartest one at the dinner table this evening or over the holidays. Okay, so I wanted to let you know about the two intellectual property portions of this bill. Never heard about that, right? Nobody said anything about that. It's not on TV. You don't see it. So let's take a look here. Attorney Steve, okay, let's go here. Let's look number one. One thing that they're trying to include, let's get rid of DuckDuckGo right now. Let's try, let's try a control F search. Let's search for copyright. Let's, whoops, let's get that in there. Copyright claims board. I'm typing one handed here if you're wondering why. I'm so slow. Copyright Claims Board. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this is something new they're proposing. Chapter 15, you'll find this. Um, and let's see if I can find it. Only it's page 2544 of 5593. So if you made it that far into the bill and you hadn't fallen asleep yet, you would come across Chapter 15, Copyright Small Claims. So they are proposing a copyright small claims court in Washington, D.C., located at the Copyright Office of the United States. And they have damages essentially up to 30000 uh, in damages. So this is something new, uh, something, you know, artists and musicians, movie makers, all those kinds of things, audio books, anybody that's having their content infringed can elect to go. Photographs is another big thing, artwork, but to have their, an alternative court to go to where you can seek copyright damages up to 30,000 in a copyright small claims court. Now, I bet nobody at your dinner table is going to know that. Bring that up and you say, what? There's gonna, they're looking at, an, at creating a new court in the copyright office, Copyright Office of the United States in Washington, D.C. Okay, so they're going to create a board. They're, I believe it's going to be a three-panel uh, judge system, kind of like what they do in domain name disputes is what it sounds like to me. I have a separate video on this. I'm not going to go into the details right now. Uh, but I'm going to post it below if you want to look at it, okay? So that's one of the intellectual property measures. Here's the other one, streaming. Everybody's talking about streaming movies and pay-per-views, videos, you know, again, audio books, um, you know, streaming pay-per-view, live fights, boxing matches, things like this. Here's another section that you may not have seen. Now, up till now, it has been a misdemeanor uh, to publicly perform or stream uh, somebody's work, but it was not a felony. Now, the difference, the basic difference is you, misdemeanor is up to one year, felony is over one year, potential jail time, okay? So that's it's a big difference. One, you're going to jail. One, you're writing, you're, you're writing a check and maybe doing some other things, okay? So this has been known, known as the streaming loophole, the streaming loophole, and rights uh, organizations, you know, the Disney's of the world, just be thinking Disney's and Warner Brothers, Paramount, all these big companies, uh, these streaming uh, fight companies that are offering pay-per-view boxing matches. Okay, we do a lot of boxing privacy, uh, piracy cases at restaurants and things like that. But if you're setting up like an illicit, what they call an illicit digital transmission service, an illicit digital transmission service, um, this can now be a felony to publicly perform or stream copyrighted content without authorization, okay? It's going to amend section right here. You can see it, 2319B, and make it a felony. So you could go to jail for this, okay? And you can go down. I'm not going to go through all this now. I'm going to do a separate video on this, actually. I think it warrants a separate video. Um, 
Some IPTV, IPTV services can be at issue. But I want to just go down, and it talks about, some people are really concerned about this. They said, well, what if I accidentally stream something on um, on Twitch or my YouTube channel? What happens? Can I? It's a, it's a felony? Like, if I accidentally stream copyrighted content? I mean, their music or something? It does not look that way. Uh, again, um, this is not legal advice. This is general legal information only. But those kinds of things um, is not what they're looking for they're not looking they're looking for commercial streams they're not looking if you accidentally clicked on a, a streaming link or you uploaded a file like a torrent or using your copy using copyrighted content in a stream okay that's not from what i can tell again this is not legal advice check with your copyright counsel you know who uh, for a detailed fact by fact review of your case but um they're looking for illicit services let's take a look here um and this is again is primarily a prohibited act first let's look at what's prohibited this is page 2542 of the act if you really got some time on your hands better better yet just subscribe to my channel for these goodies okay prohibited act it shall be unlawful for a person to willfully willfully and for purposes of commercial advantage commercial advantage or private financial gain now this is the word that gets everyone a little nervous or private financial gain well that could be my youtube or my twitch channel well that's why i don't want to say definitively this is what it is you can look at the words yourself words are open to interpretation and whatnot so uh, to provide to the public a digital transmission service that's the word that i think helps you there for your individual users um, your onesies, twosies, you know, your accidents, your fair use. Maybe you make a mistake on your fair use and you're, you're transmitting something through stream that is copyright protected. You thought it was a fair use. I'll put a video down below on fair use if you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, but to provide to the public a digital transition transmission service that one is primarily designed or provided for the purpose of publicly performing works protected under Title 17 by means of a digital transmission without the authority of the copyright owner. Okay, so this is, you can see they're trying to make very narrowly tailored, trying to make this a commercial deal. Now, before this, uh, you know, reproduction and distribution of copyrighted work could be deemed a felony. But this is going, like I said, a little bit further to cover this loophole for public performance. And there it is right there. Two, has no, now this is, you can see here, this is or, okay? So this is one or two or three, okay? Two, has no commercially significant purpose or use other than to publicly perform works protected under Title 17, that's your copyright law, by means of a digital transmission, again, without the authority of the copyright owner, or three, is intentionally marketed by or at the direction of that person to, mo to promote its use in publicly performing works, protected under Title 17 by means of a digital transmission without the authority of the copyright owner or the law. As I mentioned, um, some very stiff penalties here, fined under this title, in prison not more than three years. Okay, so I mean three years for streaming. Um, fined under this title, in prison not more than five years. If these criteria apply, you can stop that if you're interested. Or if you're a repeat offender, it can be up to 10 years. Okay, I'm not going to go back and try to find that. So it could be up to 10 years for repeat offenders. Okay, so this is a big deal. So we have two intellectual copyright, uh, intellectual property, copyright related uh, provisions in the COVID-19 Relief Act. So a guy like me, I don't care so much about the check. Uh, I don't care at all about the check, I should say, but I'll probably donate it to someone. But um, I do care about the copyright small claims court. I do care about streaming illicit digital transmission services, IPTV, whatnot, services that illegally stream digital content. Okay, so this is a big one for the movie studios. This gets somehow, uh, as they say, in, in laws and in sausages. Just don't ask how they're made. This is what we call pork. 
things that get put in here and nobody knows about it, nobody talks about it. You wake up one day with a streaming service and FBI or the Department of Justice is knocking on your door. So be very careful out there. If you don't know what you're doing, make sure you seek legal counsel. You can find us on the web, intellectual property, entertainment law, attorneysteve.com. That's attorneysteve.com, okay? So you guys have a great day. Be very safe. Uh, have a great weekend, a great new year. I'm hoping to get one more video in before the new year, but be safe, um, have fun, say hi to your family and friends, it's social distance, and follow your rules, okay? Everybody, thank you for watching. I got to go. Dinner's on the table. Have a great day.